Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. Got another donation. I'm going to do a review, tear down, comparison, yada yada stuff of stuff that Chris W gave me. Right, he gave me a couple of mobile phones. There's a few other things and bits and bats, but start off with going on Motorola. <coughs> yes, and um, we have a Nokia as well. Can't see what model the Nokia is. From, it comes from People's Phone, which is completely defunct, probably part of some other phone network by now. These are oh, ancient, old, derelict computer well, not computers, mobiles. They probably don't even work on our network. Look at the state of these. <laughs> I mean, they go, they hop back to uh, when you had to pull the aerial out, which means absolutely nothing. Because these were just plastic aerials, there was nothing special on them. Nothing attached, nothing... Or was there? I don't know. My first mobile was a bit smaller than this. He got his mobiles a little earlier than I did. So, let's start off with the Motorola. <sighs> Good luck. Flip it down. Before the actual idea of maybe press that and that and it would lock the, the, the keypad off. That was a pretty good idea and it also somehow served as a wind deflector, which it doesn't. So your mic's there, speaker's up here. No battery inside. Right, let's have a look. Can we get the model type? No, that's not the model, is it? Or an MG1-4C13? Nah. Right, this one comes with car charger. Tiny little end piece there, that's probably 5 volts, hopefully. Transformer, 7 volts, oh, that's very odd. And nothing else in the box. Let's see if this actually does work, and I doubt it because I think the batteries are expanding. But when has that ever stopped me before? I don't even think I can get that on there, I think that's broke off. Where's this section on? Ah, hold on. Why do they have springs on there? This would only go in one way, it has to. Can I just set up M4? Language M M9. That will not go in that way. Let's try that way. Got no charge at all. Let's try the power supply. One good thing, it's not blown up. And da -da. I can't hear the power supply. I'm assuming that's the battery, the uh, charging point. There's a lot of stuff inside. This is not even worth attempting to rescue. The battery is obviously dead. The phone also doesn't appear to be having much life in it either, with or without the battery pack on it. So you've got inside here, this is where you put your SIM card. Full size SIM, no micro or mini or whatever, straight in and plastic clicks in place. It's a shame that won't actually work. There's a good chance that the power supply doesn't. But yeah, it harks back to a phone being just a phone. You'd have this in your pocket, and to be honest, nowadays phones are probably about the same size, about the size of your hand, but touch screen, everything you can do on them. Yeah, it's either the, uh, no, that's definitely the power, power so I can see the contact in the middle of it, yeah. So that doesn't want to charge, doesn't want to power on with a, without a good battery. So that's kind of the end of that. There's not even a sign that it wants to charge. Probably over here for a few minutes and see what will happen while we're getting with the Nokia. Now. Nokia from People's Phone. It's been a long time since anybody's heard that name. Crack screen, but then again, these screens just peeled off, they were stuck on. 
and you can put get a new one. Well, it will cost you a fortune nowadays. It will cost you probably the same amount because you can't actually get these anymore. Type TYX no, THX 62Y. So way before any 33 10s come out, 61 10s or whatever. This one came with the. Uh, these do not date well, do they? Get a little bit of dirt back in the 90s and it, it absolutely gets filthy. So, um, yeah, let's put that over there. Two batteries on this. Car charger, I think, I suspect, he made himself. Because I think this might be his first mobile. So, let's put that to one side. And a power supply with suspicious looking tape on it. Maybe it's, there's a crack in the cable and holding it down may have given it some sort of, I don't know. Let's try and turn it on. Okay, we're on. I don't know whether or not it's working or not. Hoping that it would work with the cable on, but I think it's just for charging only. Now, two batteries. That's got some bad corrosion on there. This one hasn't. Although I don't suspect either one will work. So let's... What's under the tape? Oh, okay. There's another piece of tape under the tape. Why? I mean, it just expands that part out. Maybe there's a... There's definitely a problem with this one. Which I suspect there probably is. Press the button down on the top to release the battery. Let's put the one that hasn't got any corrosion on. Looks like it might actually work. No power. Wouldn't expect much power, if anything. So let's see if Chris's tape on the power supply actually is working for a reason. I can't hear any of the um, either of the transformers the power supply is actually making any noise at all. But so far, I'm guessing these might be both dead. Completely dead, because that's completely gone. Box, nothing else in here. There's a box in a box. So these are going to be recycling. Right, what I'm going to do is give this 10 minutes, see if these have got any charge at all, or if any of the batteries blow up. I mean, that's quite cold. That's still quite cold. So there's nothing feeding back on these just yet anyway. That won't make a difference putting that on or not. Although, how it goes on. There, and then slides up, I think. It's a little bit difficult at the bottom because of the battery expansion. Let's just see what happens with these. Under control conditions, obviously. Let's give it 10 minutes. Right, we'll move them over to there to get them charged up. He's also given me a, um, an orange broadband box. I don't know if I can do anything with this. All it comes with is a um, bit of packaging. Orange were are still a company in the UK? I don't know. Yeah, this is completely just a big chunk of plastic really. One, two. Why is there a one two button on it? Anything else in the box? Two boxes, some instructions. Power supply, yes. A couple of cables and a, just a connector. I'll keep them, I think. Go in a box, I'll find that in a minute. So yeah, I don't really want to do a review on this because I don't really think it's any much, oh, hello, use. What the bloody use is that then? It's a plastic box with a big load of thick plastic around it. <laughs> It looks like a TV screen. Now I might strip that down later, but in a minute it's not really worth it. So we'll check on the phones. That's not the power supply. Oh, hello. The Nokia beeped. Motorola one doesn't. So definitely Charles getting into one of them. 
Now let's get a few more minutes if we can get some charge. Hmm. They're trying to talk to me, I think. There's a pop noise there. They are charging. I wonder if I'm doing something. That one. The Nokia is definitely charging. So, let's see what happens. He hasn't made a squeak at me. Making, that's getting louder. It's coming to life. Hmm. Right, I think enough time has passed. Get a good 20 minutes charge on these. Right, let's press and hold the power button on the Nokia, which is chirping, by the way. Comes on, but turn, turn straight off. So he's getting some charge, but I don't think it's enough. Hold the power button. Oh, there is something. I think maybe eventually that might work. But the Motorola... Is deader than corduroy. There's no power at all getting into it. No point in plugging it to the car. I don't want to do that anyway. So, on the winner on a longevity is the Nokia. So, see if there's anything on there without the cable in. No, nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, on the battle of longevity, neither in one. I suspect there may be more bigger problems with these than just crap batteries. It's not really getting warm, that battery, which is good news. And that's not either. So I don't think there's much charge getting anywhere near these batteries. Yeah. You can see the expansion on that one. So it's pushing that out. So there's probably no even a connection from there onto there to even consider charging it. So, yeah. Nokia Motorola phones, old phones, phone phones. Not any games on these or anything. I'm not even sure they were able to text. So, thanks Chris for the um, for donation, but unfortunately, we're going in the bin. But worth a good play. No, not worth even looking into. There'll be a chip inside here and a couple of little bits, but nothing else. Same, same, same as speaker. But cheers, Chris, for the. Um, the donation. If you want to donate to, get in touch. Comment below or email in my um, description channel uh, for the channel description. Um, like and subscribe. Follow me on social medias, and I'll see you next video. Bye for now.